Welcome to our channel. Today, we are embarking on a journey to explore the wonders of our home planet, Earth. From its breathtaking landscapes to its intricate systems, Earth is a truly remarkable place. So, buckle up and let's dive in. Our story begins with a simple question, what makes Earth so special? While scientists continue to hunt for clues of life beyond Earth, our home planet remains the only place in the universe where we've ever identified living organisms. From lush rainforests teeming with biodiversity, to vast oceans brimming with marine creatures, Earth is a haven for countless species. Earth is the third planet from the Sun, and the fifth largest planet in the solar system. The Earth has a diameter of approximately 8,000 miles, and is mostly spherical due to gravity, which tends to pull matter into a ball. However, the rotation of our planet causes it to flatten at the poles, and bulge at the equator, resulting in its true shape, an oblate spheroid. The Earth spins on its axis while also orbiting the Sun. Its axis is an imaginary line passing through the planet's center, connecting the North and South Poles. One rotation on this axis takes about 24 hours, giving us day and night. It takes Earth approximately 365.25 days to complete one orbit around the Sun, which is why we have a year. The extra quarter day in the orbital period is the reason we have leap years every four years, to keep our calendars aligned with the Earth's journey around the Sun. The axis of the Earth is tilted at an angle of about 23.5 degrees, relative to its orbital plane, known as the ecliptic plane. This tilt causes the northern and southern hemispheres to receive varying amounts of sunlight throughout the year, resulting in the changing seasons. Earth circles the Sun in a slightly oval-shaped path, at a distance that's just right for liquid water to exist. We call this the Goldilocks Zone. This average distance is about 93 million miles. Though Earth's path isn't a perfect circle, it's actually the tilt of our planet that causes the seasons, not how close or far we are from the Sun. Deep within our planet lies a massive core, almost as wide as the entire planet Mars. This core isn't just one solid chunk. It's divided into two layers. The outer layer is a swirling sea of molten iron, while the inner core is a solid ball of iron and nickel. This incredible structure at the heart of our world isn't just sitting there, it's constantly generating a powerful magnetic field that stretches far into space. This magnetic field acts like an invisible shield, protecting us from harmful radiation from the sun. Above the core lies the mantle, a viscous layer approximately 1,800 miles thick. The slow movement of the mantle is responsible for continental drift, earthquakes, and volcanic activity. The Earth's crust floats atop the mantle. The crust is differentiated into two types, continental crust, composed primarily of granite and silicates, with an average thickness of 25 miles, and oceanic crust, predominantly basaltic in composition, with an average thickness of 5 miles. The lower-lying regions of the oceanic crust are inundated with water, forming the Earth's oceans. Let us now discuss about the Earth's atmosphere. What's really special about our atmosphere is the abundance of free oxygen, which is crucial for most life as we know it. As you go higher up, the air gets thinner and thinner. This is why satellites can orbit with very little resistance, at about 100 miles above Earth. The lowest layer of our atmosphere, called the troposphere, is where all the weather action happens. Sunlight warms the Earth's surface, and this warm air rises. As it rises, it cools down and eventually sinks back down, creating the cycles that drive our weather patterns. Above the troposphere is the stratosphere, reaching about 30 miles up. This layer is home to the ozone layer, which acts like a shield, protecting us from the sun's harmful ultraviolet radiation. Gases like water vapor and carbon dioxide in our atmosphere trap heat from the sun, keeping our planet warm enough to support life. This is called the greenhouse effect, and without it, Earth would be a frozen, inhospitable place. Satellites have observed that the upper atmosphere actually expands during the day and contracts at night. This is because of the changes in temperature caused by the sun's heating. Oxygen isn't just important in the air we breathe, it's also the most abundant element in the Earth's crust, making up almost half of the weight of all rocks. Silicon comes in second, followed by aluminum, iron, and a few other elements. Let's not forget our trusty sidekick, the Moon. 
It's about 2,159 miles wide, making it roughly a quarter the size of Earth. The moon's gravity is responsible for the ebb and flow of our tides, and it also plays a crucial role in keeping Earth still steady, which helps maintain a relatively stable climate. Interestingly, Earth is unique in our solar system for having just one moon. Mercury and Venus have none at all, while other planets boast two or more. So, where did our moon come from? The prevailing theory is that early in Earth's history, when it was still molten, a massive object, about the size of Mars, slammed into it. This colossal impact blasted a huge amount of material into space, which eventually joined together to form the moon. We can't just admire how beautiful the Earth is, but we also need to realize how much we are affecting it. Our planet is dealing with problems like climate change, pollution, and cutting down too many trees. It's up to us to take care of this delicate environment, so that our kids and grandkids can also enjoy this amazing blue planet.